There's definitely long-term planning and near-term planning involved in the Cerebus Trust and just keeping Aardvark Vanaheim going for the time being. Taking as an example uh, Mr. J's uh, extremely generous uh, life's end bequest to the Cerebus Trust, uh, it's a top priority for me that uh, Mr. J's wishes be followed to the letter. Primarily, how much of his bequest does Mr. J want to have going to Gerhardt? That's the first question. Second question, does Mr. J want uh, the amount that he allocates to Gerhardt to be given to Gerhardt in a lump sum? Three, does Mr. J want the uh, amount that he delegates to Gerhardt to be delivered to Gerhardt in uh, increments? Uh, four, how large are the increments? and how frequent are the increments. If Mr. J chooses to do a allocation based on increments and Gerhardt passes before all of the payments have been made, does Mr. J want the balance of those payments to go to Gerhardt's estate? Or does Mr. J want those uh, funds to remain with the Cerebus Trust in the event of Gerhardt's passing. 10% of all of the revenues uh, accruing from uh, my life insurance to the Cerebus Trust will be allocated for local charities, St. John's Kitchen uh, in particular and uh, the Food Bank of Waterloo Region. Does Mr. J want his bequest to uh, be allocated in the same proportion? Or would he prefer that all of his bequest be dedicated entirely to the Cerebus Trust itself with no charitable donation component attached to it? There are no right or wrong answers to these questions. Each of these questions has to be dealt with individually uh, by Mr. J on the basis of what he wants to have happen. A uh, question has come up earlier this year about life insurance. Um, what if I you know, have a life insurance policy and I make uh, the Cerebus Trust uh, the beneficiary of that? Um, that's certainly possible. Um, I mean, all of this really got rolling because Mr. J uh, didn't really like the way the Patreon site was set up, that uh, uh, he thought that uh, Patreon and uh, PayPal were uh, taking too much money out of the donation and was there a more practical way to donate where um, those amounts weren't being taken up. and. Uh, Definitely, there are, there are all kinds of different ways to accomplish this from a straight, straight donation to a bequest to, as I say, um, you know, uh, insurance, where uh, you may already have an insurance policy in place, but instead of donating um, $25 a month to Patreon or whatever amount of money, uh, you've been donating to Patreon, and thank you very much everyone uh, who uh, participates at the Patreon site. Uh, if you do um, arrange to have that done as insurance instead, then uh, these are the same questions that, uh, that you're going to be facing um, with uh, the amounts of money that would be involved. Uh, obviously, life insurance pays a larger um, output uh, at the end of life than uh, each individual increment that went into it. That's, that's long-term planning. That's, um, that's definitely uh, uh, front of mind for me uh, a good deal of the time. Uh, 
uh, how do I preserve this material through the 22nd century, um, even assuming that uh, what seems like a great deal of money right now uh, is going to be far less money in uh, 50 or 75 years' time uh, if we backdate that 75 years, uh, an amount of money that would be incomprehensible. You just couldn't spend that much money in an entire lifetime. 75 years ago, uh, I'd probably work out to uh, an average income of four or five years for an average family. But in the near term, uh, we are holding our own. Um, it's, uh, it's as difficult for me as it is for all of you out there to uh, make ends meet just on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Where does the money go? Um, basic expenses is uh, the same thing that we're all facing. Uh, the inflation that we're facing now is, uh, you know, back in the 1980s this was con considered a catastrophe and right now it's just, well, you better make uh, a good 10% more every year than you did last year and the year before and the year before that because inflation's just going to eat it up. Um, Alice in Wonderland's all the running she can muster just to stay in one place. A good example is uh, Serapis Downloads which uh, we're promoting heavily as part of Cerebus Online. Uh, a few months back, uh, brought in $492. Month after that, brought in uh, $514 in a month. And uh, the month after that, the first month of Cerebus Online, that suddenly jumped to $1,700. And uh, the month after that, it dropped back down to $414. And, but uh, this month just passed, um, July coming to an end, uh, that amount went back up to $800. So we're not up to the $1,700 high of uh, a couple of months ago, but we're not uh, down to the $414 low that we were the month before, which would be June. And I really don't think it's a, what are we doing wrong? Um, it's, there's no wrong or right. Uh, there's, uh, particularly with internet revenues, uh, either donations or um, sales of digital downloads of Cerebus, um, it's, uh, there's no end of Monday morning quarterbacking that you can do on those. But you're not going to come up with any answers. All you can do is just uh, keep forging ahead, as I know uh, uh, Sandeep is doing um, in cooperation with, uh, with Margaret Liss and others, um, various people who are helping with the Twitter feed and whatnot. Um, some months are going to be better than others, and that's, uh, that's something that uh, definitely weighs heavily on the near term because uh, all of the expenses at Aardvark Vanaheim um, are not only fixed expenses, uh, this is how much money we have to come up with, but uh, same as all of you, we have to come up with a good, uh, you know, compounded 2% annually inflation uh, built into that. And every year that goes by, that, uh, that just keeps stacking up that way. And thank you to Mr. J for his phone message, uh, duly noted where you, uh, where you want your Cerebus Superfan Award to go to. And uh, I will give you a call a day before I fed FedEx that out to you and uh, let you know that it is on its way. And sincere thanks again to Mr. J. Uh, I got to tell you, this is the first time in Aardvark Van Eyme's nearly 40-year history that uh, I haven't been having to mentally run up ahead uh, 100 years or 75 years and go, yeah, but what am I going to do about this? Uh, how is this going to get fixed? Um, you know, what, what can be done now uh, to make it possible for, for this to keep going all the way up to here? 
Um, that's, that's largely taken care of now. So now we can spend more time just going, okay, how do we get that 414 up closer to uh, uh, 800 and some odd dollars every month uh, so that I can keep up with the property taxes and uh, uh, getting the house fixed and uh, preserving the archive, uh, the whole lengthy list of things that need to be done before I'm dead. And uh, speaking of Cerebus Superfan Awards, dot, 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 the first Cerebus Superfan Award actually exists now. And uh, the folks over at Tom Carr Awards on Francis Street did a heck of a job. I think you will agree. So, uh, Jesse Lee Herndon, please give me a call at 519-576-0610 and leave me a phone message letting me know when's a good time to phone you so uh, I can get your address and shipping information and we can also have uh, have a chat. I'm, I want to find out what compelled you to decide to do a review of every issue of Cerebus up to, I don't even know where you are now, you, you were at 26 the last time Sandy reported. Uh, issue 30? Uh, I, I, I hesitate to ask. Anyway, good on you, Jesse Lee Herndon. And uh, the award will be wrapped securely and FedExed to, uh, to your favorite location where you like to receive FedEx stuff. And that'll do it for a weekly update for August 7th. Don't forget to vote online here at a moment of Cerebus, unless you're watching this on YouTube, in which case go over to a moment of Cerebus and vote for the second Cerebus Super Fan Award. And uh, don't stop thinking of ways to uh, come to Sandeep's attention at Cerebus Online. All it really takes is exactly what Jesse Lee Herndon did. Just keep coming up on Sandeep's radar screen as somebody promoting Cerebus, and we could womp up one of these for you. Okay, hope we'll see you all again next week.